you know. What did you think would happen if you didn't capture me first? Bye-bye! <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing, idiot? Well, um, it looks like Spectre got away. Will you help us again? Anime sweat drops, because we're ideally bankrupt. Intellectually bankrupt, that's the term. Oh man, who knew the apes would escape? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've heard they've got a fantastic... I had a better line, but I fucked it up, gosh damn it. something like Metal Gear Solid, and I'd really like to play it too. Oh, I wonder what that's... Women don't play video games. I probably already used this joke in like the 15 other times we tried to record this. Probably. But enough of that. Let's go recapture and revisit all the levels because it's fun. It's fun for me anyway. Okay, you won't. It's not fun to commentate over. Yes, it is. We just need to be better at commentating. Now you'll super monkey. It's like Super Mario Key Five. I don't know. Buddy, buddy, with other monkeys. Oh please, this game will never have a fourth installment. Speaking of Donkey Kong... <clears throat> <laughs> so with this morph, we'll be able to turn into Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> so yeah, for those of you who can't tell, this is the Let's Play episode where we really stretch everything in a desperate attempt to try and make a joke. It's better than the minutes of silence we did have for the first recording. <laughs> That's Which true. I didn't say the it. first recording, yeah. Because it was bad. It was very bad. So, with the super monkey suit, I guess I should explain this. You can wave to monkeys, they'll wave back at you. The puppets are alive for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. Obviously, they have monkey brains inside them, which we will then proceed to dine on. Zomp. Zompies? No, death. No. Okay. Well, sorry, I just need a little bit of monkey magic. Oh, that tea's going all over the place. No, monkey, no. That's not how you hold a teacup. It's not how you hold a tray. Oh, Guy from God. Deadly Premonition whose name I, I can't remember. I fucking say that. It's Quentin. And now, Dith, I have it's become Quint, the sorry. joke stealer. Quint, Quint, right, it was Quint. And time so anyway, the PS3 version the comes out in a couple months. I'm, I have the 360 version, but I'm probably gonna buy that anyway. You're just gonna be like, sweary, shut up and take my money. Pretty much. It's only gonna be like $30, too. Right? 30, 40, somewhere around there. Not the point is, it's Deadly Premonition that can take my money. Yeah. I don't care if it's objectively a bad game. It's not objectively a bad game. Just IGN doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. It's objectively an outdated game. But you know what? I don't care. At least it's unique. I don't care about graphics. I wasn't even talking about graphics. I was talking about the game engine. No. Fair enough. I play RPGs, so I'm not really picky. <laughs> Same. Has a decent plot. Good enough for me. <laughs> I still need to finish my second playthrough of Abyss. Welcome to Let's Play Ape Escape, otherwise known as Let's Play Let's Talk About Everything But The Game, because we already did that. Okay, so, um, we shot down a news chopper monkey. He, he, he did arrive one home. Bollocks. <laughs> Episodes, without a <laughs> Episodes without a retro prey joke, zero. It's fine. It's better than the silence that we had before. Stained glass window? More like stained glass baseball. What? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> non sequitur humor, anybody? Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play D2, where Guts had to use a teddy bear to go dead side and save his little brother. And from Dracula. Banana knife rope fishing pole? <laughs> Let me explain something completely obvious. Start as often as you like. 
Another thing. So, um, finding all those rooms with the secret rooms with the four monkeys, and then there's always four monkeys, and, um, you can use the monkey uniform, super monkey for, uh, morph to find those. It won't show the bananas, um, unless it's in the area that you're in. If you need hints, though, you can buy them in the shopping district, but why, why would you need them? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is waste a morph bar to find where it is. Oh, and here's Yumi's form. It's basically the same thing, just different face inside of it. That's it. But at the end of the game, we saw that we could get into the cheats menu, but there are no cheats for this game. So let's use a cell phone and call up our buddy. Blah. Yeah, let's just call our buddy Blackout. So what this does is unlocks a whole bunch of secret monkeys. They're pretty hard to catch usually, but not not always bad. Shimmy, that sounds like something else. I don't know what you're talking about. And we get to meet the Pipitron monkeys. But these won't be explained until the secret episode. So you can get a bunch of these passwords by also buying them in the shopping district. So basically you don't even need to beat the game or get a 100% or anything. Not really, no. I mean, you can... You, you get them all by just buying them in the shop. But to get 100% you do need to catch them, I believe. You can get the true ending without catching them, though. Hmm. The more you know. Mm -hmm. So let's revisit the second level, Monkey Forest, with Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Monkey. And that chick from the ring, Sadako or something. Oh, is that something? Spoilers! Oh, right. That'll be this episode. I'm sorry, we haven't done this thing in, like, how many days? I don't know, it's been about long. Ignore me, I'm a monkey that's like three times your size. Nothing suspicious here. You must be getting tired. I just want some of your bananas. I really like in these secret rooms that they have things from the level itself, like posters or props or whatever. Also has a rack full of pants. Also, I love them. Because you have to remember that the TV stations... This ain't no theme park, full of horror. The ill bleed Michael Reynolds trying too hard. I know. I know. Caution, laser, caution, laser, caution, laser. So usually the monkeys in this room aren't that hard to catch, but a little bit helps. So let's get Wolfie. We left him well last time, because he put up a good pump. And in this monkey, we have a monkey. I mean, in the, this in well. This, in this well. Speaking, it's not really a well, but it has grass at the... And this monkey from the ring also shares the same birthday as me. You will die in seven, etc. I haven't seen the movie. I haven't either. Movies, what are those? Besides 70% of Hideo Kojima's existence. <clears throat> the other 30% <laughs> are conspiracy theories. <laughs> yes. Anyway, here's Spork. He looks a lot like Spike. From the first Apex game. Which is the best in the series. But this is still fun with him. Even if the controls were probably worse. Uh, no. I'd have to say they're better. I said probably. The camera, uh, maybe, yeah. 
The camera's pretty bad in this game too, but I think the camera in the first one might be. I'm trying to think of a Japanese game that had a decent camera. I guess maybe Metal Gear, since we're on that subject. Maybe Metal Gear Solid 3 and Peace Walker. Not the original camera from Metal Gear Solid 3, that was bad. You could always change them around though, so it wasn't too bad. Really impressive performance there. I was just terrible at sneaking in Metal Gear games. I can never get used to the control scheme. And we did alright when we needed to in Peace Walker. Yeah, but Peace Walker actually controls like a video game. <laughs> Metal Gear games normally just control like, uh, shove yourself up against this wall and... Hold down square to start shooting and release to never stop and... You're thinking of cover based platformers. Cover based shooting games, I mean. No, because I mean like... I could never... Whenever I took aim in Metal Gear Solid 2, I can never put the damn gun away. Mm -hmm. And the king's double when Solomon needs to take a break. But we caught him. So this guy's not doing his job. I hope you show him this part. <laughs> and look at this camera monkey. What about a camera monkey? That one. <laughs> <laughs> Most attentive monkey ever. So that's basically me if I was one of these guys. Okay, maybe he was maybe he was attentive, but he was just really focused on doing his job of taping that wall. Why was he taping I the wall? I can respect that. Was, was he just like he, he must have been like trying to waste tape because they docked his pay. So he's like, okay, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this secret room has a second exit. This because why leads, not? Yeah, this one leads to a secret monkey. One of the ones that we had to put a code in for. Can I just point out that gold isn't very good armor because it breaks and bends easily? I've learned from uh, ghouls and ghosts. It sucks. Although it's really good at unleashing powerful attacks. Gold really is a shitty metal. It's good at conducting electricity, but other than that, it's pretty worthless. But anyway, enough about chemistry and blacksmithing. I don't know. And we just caught Japanese comic books. Alright. Sweet. His name was Manga. Even if it was spelled incorrectly. Pronounces it. Really impressive performance. I need to catch up with One Piece. If you read that shit. Anyway. <laughs> I swear it's better than Shonen's normally are. I don't believe you. And now we have to refight all the bosses since Pink let those. Trial of the Dragon! Yep. Well, at least Monkey White is easy. They're all pretty easy, actually, but at least Monkey White isn't Monkey Yellow. <laughs> He has a robot dragon. That's a nice, awesome metal theme. He was actually hard in, in Skip 2. Well, as hard as a kid's game should be, but... The kid's game that's gonna be for a PS2 game, I should say. Not those kid's games on the NES that were actually hard. <laughs> To be fair, a lot of older games were hard because, of, like, they didn't really... You needed to be perfect in order to have the proper amount of health for a boss fight and stuff. Because oh, they didn't really play test it very well. Yeah, and they would need... You, you would need to learn, like, all the stuff beforehand. Like, and it's you wouldn't trial and error. Well, some of them And if you were being stupid, like, you were just there, you would have died much faster. <clears throat> But anyway, you can't use a Cyber Race on that because he pushes you back with your air and you'll fall into a Wapa. So anyway, let's just send this fight real quick. Pretty easy. Bye bye. Go back to the zoo where you belong, you white ass monkey. 
That's racist. Uh, I, I'm not feeling very funny right now. How about you? No, I'm feeling How old that monkey white really is? <laughs> Talk about huh. that banana heat going down to me at Miami. I think that's a football or racing show. Whatever. I think there's also a game called Miami Heat where you murder people with a baseball bat and whatever else is handy. Hmm. Maybe that was our last thing. Anyway. So anyway, there's the Terminator. I believe so. I don't know what Nader is, but... I'm starting to see... It's the f second Terminator movie, and the first one, but... Yeah, you already said that. Well, speaking of movies, I did finally see the first Alien. Um, the only experience I have with Alien is with that new video game. <laughs> Everybody in the audience is like, why? Why would you bring that up? Hey, it's a good game, according to IGN. They give it a 4.5 out of 10. And they give Deadly, Deadly Premonition a 2 out of 10. So apparently it's a pretty good game. Or decent, at least. In other words, so are those of you in the audience the talking about because IGN's a piece of shit. But anyway. You are going nowhere, except the net. Football players? I believe that's football. Football! Yet another thing in life I will never ever understand. Another pointless thing. But then I just running. don't I just don't get the appeal of watching other people play sports. Especially how passionate people can get about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's that? You like the other team? I'm gonna beat you into a coma. But remember, video games are the cause of all violence. <laughs> yep. I love that argument. Oh, the people who beat each other into comas over sports are probably the same people who go, uh, oh, video games are evil. Are sure your kid shot that other kid because of the fact that you're a terrible parent instead? I mean, just... come on. Terrible parents or society looks down on them because... Society. society doesn't know what a terrible parent is because everybody in society is a terrible parent. Anyway, let's score a uh, three-point goal. Three... three... basket. The... hoop. What? Tennis. What we're saying is we're incompetent when it comes to sports. Oh yeah, I got a hole-in-one. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's golf, but that's a good sport. At least Mario Golf is. That's the only, that's the only thing I've done with golf. That was a really boring Mario game. But it's a Mario game, so I played it. Let's revisit the expose. I'll be back! Now let's go capture that lone cameraman. So speaking of Nintendo, don't you wish companies that had lots of money would actually use some of that money to take actual risks? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Instead of rehashing zombie video games? Where's my Star Tropics 3, Nintendo? And Mother 3 while I'm at it. Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Capcom. <laughs> Where are all of the handheld and um, Tales of Destiny 2 Namco band? Actually, screw that. Just where's a good Tales game? <laughs> it's like a bis happened and then everything went to shit. Yeah, pretty much. It's like you get what is honestly probably one of, if not my absolute favorite games. And then next game I played was like Tales of Graces, which was just fucking awful. That was pretty bad. Played alright, but... 
It played alright, but it could have played better. Like, after a while, it just got frustrating more than anything. Vesperia was, had better gameplay than Abyss, but it was, um... The plot the point was is, about as well written as Races, which is to say it was complete garbage. <laughs> Static characters? Characters that don't grow at all in the meaning of the story? Yep, Yuri is a great character, but he doesn't grow at all. Same with Asbel. Okay. Asbel just spends the entire game sitting around crying about friendship. Pretty much. I hope people know what we're talking about. Who cares? <laughs> we're trying to be interesting. <laughs> Well, if they're watching the Ape Escape video, they probably play some Japanese while playing games. Most people have played Tales of Symphony, at least. At least most people that are worth talking to. Maybe oh, we're uh, just... Uh, 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 <laughs> Maybe in the course of talking about these games over this uninteresting footage, people will get curious, and while being bored by this footage of going over things we've already been over, they will look up much better games, and then we will have succeeded in our lives. Fine. Don't worry, I'm just trying to jet propel you into other video games. Really impressive for Rocket Hell. Everyone needs to go play Persona 3, Persona 4, and Tales of the Abyss. If you have a PS2, just do all of that. Just do it. Yeah. Stop watching this, go do it. Or you could finish watching this. <laughs> Have you played 999 No. Why haven't you? Because I suck. So I don't know what this is making fun of. Probably the... Um... Exorcist. Yeah. The only thing I know is I think we talked about that last time. Yeah, but we didn't capture this monkey, but... And the last time we recorded this video. Oh, yeah. Not as creepy as some of the stuff in Ape Escape 1, to be honest. <laughs> there is some really creepy stuff in Ape Escape 1. I remember playing the graveyard level. Oh, man. Man Monster Mansion? Shut up, Tom. Um. What? You've confused not only me, but also the audience as well. Congratulations. I know. So anyway, Psycho reference. Norman Bates. I believe that's the guy in Psycho. I never saw that either. Yeah, neither did I. I don't watch movies. I don't know why. I mean to watch the good ones. One of my subscribers posted a comment where I should... He said I should watch all those Western movies during the... Western one with like the fistful of dollars and all that. But I'm probably not going to do that because I'm lazy. And because I don't like to spend money or support like video companies because they're assholes with SOPA and stuff like that. They don't deserve my money. Mm -hmm. And I don't deserve to watch, I mean, I deserve to watch her movies, but I don't want to because they all suck. <laughs> Sorry. Being a little bit elitist here, but I don't want it. We get Jason 2.0. Too bad he's not doing a little dance. Oh well. There's one of the harder monkeys to catch in this game, surprisingly. Even though he's got those yellow pants. In the previous recording we were talking, um, I mentioned here that, um, monkeys who are holding something like a gun... Won't actually take your stuff? Yeah, they won't take your stuff, but they can still knock out of your hands. So basically this game has the elements required to be difficult, but the level design just kind of does not do that. 
Well, Ant's a baby game for babies. It's not that easy, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty generous. Like, if I wanted to spend all my chips on, uh, freaking lives, I could do that. Because you really need those in this game. Considering all the bad Why do games even them? have live systems anymore, anyway? Why do they still? Yeah, that's what I have to wonder. I mean, it's like something for arcade systems to just cheap you out of your money if you suck. Or cheat you, I mean. I don't know, it kinda adds some difficulty to the game if you get a game over, right? Yeah, but just have a difficult section and then have a checkpoint somewhere in the level. There, problem solved. This is a PS2 game. Yeah, so? Did there are PS2 the games. Checkpoints? A couple of them? I they have, Can't like, really auto mean. saving things, but they didn't have checkpoints. I don't, not many of them did. I think the Jack and Daxter games had a couple, but Jack 2 had, like, no checkpoints because that game was a piece of shit that wasn't playtested. I'm serious, that game was not playtested. I know, I've played it. I haven't beaten it, though. And I think I... I got halfway through... I beat 1 and 3, I got halfway through 2, and then the game became physically impossible and terribly designed. Infinitely respawning. Like in the town, and you can like destroy other people's cars and like do everything. You could do that in two as well. Yeah, but wasn't it like a most of the game took place in the town, and then it kind of went to like a desert section? Actually, it was, it was in three. It was the other way around. It was in a desert, but then there were several towns, oh. or two or three at least. Well, I didn't mind two then, if that was the one I was thinking of. No. The one you're thinking of is three. Oh. Which can I just Stop add? Confusing me. Kind of sad that I don't think I've ever played a game that wasn't like two hours long at tops. Like, I don't think I ever played a game that went past two hours that had a perfect difficulty curve. Like, I can't. I legitimately cannot think of any at all. Like, Jack and Daxter 1 was really easy, except the final boss was kind of a pain in the ass. And then Jack 2 just started out hard and then became absolutely unbearable. And then Jack 3 was just piss easy all the way through. Because by the final boss, you had an infinite ammo cheat, let's face it. <laughs> so, um, Geek, I hmm? sent you a message earlier about doing, like, a race, like, the something awful guys do. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But what would we do a race of? I don't know. Super Mario World seems fun. I suck at older Mario games. I don't know why, I just do. Well, you get a whole bunch of other people, so it's just not us two fun. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I, I really like those races. Even if the commentary in them isn't so great. It's just fun to do and fun to watch and see everybody's progress. Mm hmm. If you haven't checked it out, guys, people who are watching this, check out uh, Let's Race Super Mario World or Let's Race Mega Man or whatever. There are um, a whole bunch of people just kind of having some fun playing games with like eight people playing the same game at the same time. On the same screen. Well, okay, on the same video, anyway. I could probably do Mega Man X, but I suck at the final boss. I haven't played that, so um, I guess we could try it. I have never. Let's race. Then again, I played. Too. Then again, I played the PSP version. The PSP version probably has a toned down difficulty. Probably, because I remember the Super Nintendo version being d more difficult. And I'm gonna stun lock this monkey. If we're still talking about this game for a moment. <laughs> Just let's, let's stun. Let's... No robot for you. Speaking of Mega Man X. I know a lot of people give me shit for not playing any of the Mega Man games. They are fun, if nothing else. I didn't get it when I had the game, so... I, I mean, I've seen videos of it and it kind of looks fun, but... I'm also terrible at them, besides, like... At some points, the X series. <laughs> Basically, I'm saying, if Mega Man doesn't have a dash move, I'm screwed. <laughs> I can't even play the PSP version of Mega Man 1 because of how badly I suck. Mm -hmm. 
And now I have become the butt monkey for people in the comments after admitting that. I don't have any other friends. Convince everybody else to get Gungrave. The first one. Oh yeah, yeah we one's should actually totally that once you get some recording equipment. I guess you could do it on an emulator, but emulator... I don't like <laughs> Emulator, Mac. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> I also have to play through it again because you have to hold down L3 to jog and shoot. That's kind of a pain to get used to. The game had weird controls, but it was a, it was a good game. Uh, it's can, gonna be a good game. You can set it up however you want it. You could? Yeah. I'll have I to look it. through that again then. We can run. <laughs> race the only grave overdose. Because <laughs> the only control option I remember in the good one was that um, you could set the square button to rapid fire instead of not rapid fire. Whereas in overdose, it was rapid fire or charge shots. Um, actually in Overdose, I don't think you could change the controls. You could change the rapid fire option. Yeah, but I don't think you could actually like manually change every control in the game like you could. In I don't I don't remember you being able to do that in Gungrave 1 either. No, you can. I did, you definitely can. I, I will have to play that again then. It's a short game. Not as well. It's something we could race. It's not really long. I know, it's like, what, an hour long? <laughs> if that. I played it a bit slower, but that was my first time, and I kind of wanted to check everything out, so... But, yeah. We can always try racing Gun Grave over Dose. <laughs> I have a feeling that we would just get to the last boss and was like, Okay, what the hell's going on here? At least that's what I was like. I still have no idea how to beat the final boss. It's like, I know you're supposed to shoot these things, but there's shields around the things, and what? You what is happening? It, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I beat it too, but I don't know how. <laughs> I know, it's like he gets the final boss. What is happening? But then we'll see that if I ever get recording hardware. That'll happen. By the way, I fought Monkey Blue the way. Like five minutes later, okay, yeah, I fought Monkey Blue the correct way. <laughs> instead of cheaping him out in normal playthrough. At least it's not the first recording. Silence and occasional typing noises. Well, I'm sure this is interesting to a variety of people. Unfortunately, we can't enter the woman's side right now. But we got a gadget that can let us peek over the side! Because we totally want to do that for an escape hot speed. Look at that hair. That beautiful gold. Oh yeah! <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I don't know why there are blunders in here, but hey, I don't know how hot springs are built, or how they work. Both of these, both of the exits from the female and male side lead to the same place, for some reason. That's how spatial... Space... Space works. In space! Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to do, I don't know, Super Mario World or something. Just let me stop sucking at it first. I don't know why I'm, I'm okay at the 3D Mario games, so I'm awful at the 2D ones. It's like I want to blame something, but there's nothing to blame, I just suck. Can you use, can you play Super Nintendo games on your map? Yes, because oh. that's like the only good emulator for Macintosh. Oh. Plus, we have Super Mario Bros. 3 and um, World on the Wii. Oh, yeah, that's true. But then you would actually need recording equipment for that. <laughs> and you can just grab, like, I don't know, something. Probably just grab something cheap, but at the same time, if I want to do Let's Play Survivor or something decent yeah, that doesn't desync audio after a while. Just get Bandicam or, um... Yeah, but I'd rather not have something... Like I said, like I said, I'd rather not have something that desyncs audio. Because I really hate that. Mm -hmm. And 
that's that. So that happened. Do pose, 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 warp. Speaking of Mega Man, he just posed once and then he warped out. Why can't you take over that, Jimmy, huh? Why can't you do that? Or not Jimmy, but... Okay. Yeah, right, that. Also, Pipitrons. They are pretty creepy looking. They look more like Legos to me. Kind of, but we'll see how these guys come about in the bonus video, because there's a cinematic regarding them. A secret that you have to buy, I believe. Which I still think looks like a Linkin Park music video. It's fine. I thought it was pretty neat. At least it's pretty dark for an Apis game. Kind of. <laughs> for a game intended for two-year-olds. Not that young. Said the guy who still plays Kirby. And Nintendo games are for everyone. They're rated E for everyone. So was this game. <laughs> and we have Yellow Monkey. Uh, I wonder why the E10 rating is something that needs to exist. Like, why does that rating exist? It doesn't make any sense. Like, how's something appropriate for 10 year olds, but not like a 5 year old? I am that, is that like describing the Justice League cartoons? Or the Batman animated series or something? I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. All I can stop and think about are these bananas. Also... Because I think the only E10 what? and Up game I have... What? Shimmy. Sounds kind of like Jimmy, doesn't it? This video's kind of lagging a little for me because stupid. Just had the cu audio cut out there. Just had Bandolo start jumping up and down on the screen. So then my dad shot her, it was weird. Anyway, now that we're here. Kay is not gonna join a London Symphony Orchestra to make the King's Quest V theme many times. <laughs> Million dollar budget. Best hiding spot ever. A booth that sells half of it in Jason masks. Probably so that just good screams business. Japanese festival, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. Hockey masks totally screams that. Hockey mask serial killer. And hockey isn't even that. Hockey isn't popular in Japan at all, actually. But whatever. is it popular anywhere outside of Canada? Pretty popular over here. Not as popular as like football and stuff, but. Eh, I, I've heard people talk about it quite a bit. Now let's give her offering to the ape god. YHVH! We can Go make away. a 10 all over here. <laughs> Don't make me summon Hydro Sure on you. Just curious, do you call him Hydro Sure or Demi, Fe or Demi Fiends? Because I mean, I think it thinks Hydro Fiends the same thing. I think it means the same thing either way. It does. It's just that Hydroshara sounds more like a name. Boss because you're I don't know. Well then they probably just called him that in the Japanese version too. I don't know, I, I kind of don't care much because, well, I play a lot of localized games that kind of have different names sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like Tales of Destiny where one of the characters is named Gar. And Instead then of Woodrow. In his Japanese, yeah, and he's Wood, Wood, Woodrow. The one character's changed from Lion to Leon. Which, to be fair, could have just been a translation error. Or maybe they thought it was, maybe the translation team thought it was a translation error. Like, maybe they just thought, Lion, that's stupid. Maybe the guys who are making the name screwed up. Who knows? 
I don't mind some of those, but there are some Japanese names that I really can't remember very well. Like the Japanese names for these characters. Well, the Japanese names for the monsters in Portable Third. Mm -hmm. Hapura, Hapura Boka, the Para did that. The Spike and Jimmy are named differently, and as well as Natalie and. Uh, Actually, I believe it's Natsumi for her Japanese one. But to be fair, in ter when it's a kid's game, I think the only people who are going to care are going to be weeaboos. No. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Because, I mean, is a kid going to be mad that they changed the name? They don't care. They just get, they just they just want to play oh, Ape Escape. Don't get me started on that shit because there's one character in I think it was Tales of Destiny 2. So in Tales of Graces, you can play a card game, and then they renamed one of the characters in there. It was like um, I don't there's know. There's a card game in Tales of Graces. Yeah, and you have Triple Triad. Namco Bandai version. And they translated one of the names to like. Weirdly, and people on the forums are all bitching about it. And, oh man, Tales of fans are really fucking annoying. By the way, I just want to honestly. Can I just say that counts for every fan base ever? Right. Video, stop lagging. Oh, well, glad we're not keeping up with the video, huh? It's doing the same thing it did with that other video, where my commentary was out of sync, where it just skips one frame, and then somehow desyncs the whole thing. Gotta love Max. It's not even a Macintosh thing, it's just YouTube. It's like, why won't this video load? Why does it have to play- why does it have to stream as it's playing? You know? Uh, no, I don't know. Did it actually load for you, or is it just streaming? Um, it's still streaming, but whatever. Not a big deal. So anyway, back to commentary. Really? So back to pretending to care. Yeah, pretty much. Really impressive the way you did the exact same thing we did last time. I know, I'm really good at... ...redoing levels. Oh boy! It's everyone's favorite boss fight. What's your timestamp? Um, it's at 427. 4247. Oh, we're like 5 seconds. 4253 now. Yeah, we're like 3 4 seconds off. Anyway, refighting Yellow Monkey. Jump, the best jump, fight ever! Jump, 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 jump. Nipple shurikens, nipple shurikens, nipple shurikens. Yes. Thank you for being an it's onomatopoeia for my videos, Geek. I needed that. You people in the South know what an onomatopoeia is. Last time I'm Californian. You just have to live down here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to strangle you. Just so you know. Just... I'm going to find a way to strangle you over the internet. He's a ninja because he shoots I like how he rubs them, like, and then laughs at the same time. It's like he gets a little tickle out of it. And by love, I mean, that really creeps the fuck out of me. I can't believe I missed. I didn't notice this until now, but he almost sounds like a Simpsons character. He kind of looks like one, too. You smell like Homer Samson. Is Yellow Monkey the gay version of Homer Simpson? Oh, come on, Homer Simpson will never do sumo wrestling. That'll require him to get up. Good point. After Monkey Yellow. His round body is kind of cute, don't you think? No, Aki. Shutters. The what was modeled after Yellow Monkey? I kind of forgot. His body was cute. So, yeah, that's the episode. So, join us next time when we do more of the exact same thing.